All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Hafco Space Center mod, which is being made by user Average Joe, spelled with a nine. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely amazing new space center on the opposite side of the world for you to enjoy. And so let's head into the tracking station and take a look at where it is and what all we do get. But before we do, there are some prerequisites to get this thing to function. You are going to need Kerbal Constructs, Kerbinside Remastered, Omega's Stock Alike Structures, as well as Tundra's Space Center. And with that, you'll find that uh, on the opposite side of the world from the Kerbal Space Center here, we have, just on this little peninsula area, the Hafco Space Center. And it is a beautiful base with a lot going for it. So let's go and check it out and have a gander at, of course, well, the Hafco Space Center. It's a lovely big facility there with lots of buildings right on the water and by default has three separate launch sites for you to use. The first of those being the Hafco Shore, which is a great place to launch boats from as it's literally right there in the water from, you know, the base. Then there's the Hafco Runway, which is on the largest of the two runways on this facility and is a great for any size plane you could want to launch. And then there's the Hafco Test Pad Horizontal, which is a small rocket launch site. Uh, not very big, but there are actually three other launch pads you can use as well as another runway. Thing is though, you're actually gonna have to activate those using Kerbal Construct, and we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a moment. Now, besides the three launch sites, we do, of course, have just the gigantic Space Center facility. Very cool looking, lots of great buildings here to explore. It's just gorgeous. But there's also a few things off in the hills nearby. The first being a completely useless but cool looking antenna site. It's literally just a large antenna mass with three small little outbuildings, but hey, there it is. There's also a functioning ground station with uh, three dishes, which is usable. It will communicate with ships in orbit, and that is great. And finally, there's an observatory off near the coast. And I think this is my favorite of the aesthetic buildings, because as you can see, it moves. And at night, the observatory actually does open up to reveal a telescope. It's absolutely awesome. And as you can see here, it's just a really cool big facility. I've had just loads of fun just driving around in this place and taking a look at all the different buildings we do have on offer with plenty of different runways and paths going to all the different launch pads and just a lot of great details. It's one of the coolest Space Center mods I've seen in a long time. And honestly, I haven't looked at many of these sorts of things on the channel because eh, most that I've seen are kind of generic. I just really love how they put together everything here. And then you add in, you know, you just got all the cool buildings, some fun little small hangars over this way. And then, of course, the gigantic runway on the coast there. Smaller runway. And the one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four different launch pads. Now, as for how to activate those, like I said, the only three that are default launch sites is the uh, shore right here the runway here, and uh, this uh, little launch pad here. To get the others working, you are going to have to go into uh, Kerbal Constructs by hitting Control K, bringing this up, and finding which one, like say, this launch pad here. You just got to make it an active launch site by pressing this button, and then you'll be able to use this much larger cool site to launch bigger rockets from. It does mean you gotta do a little bit of work yourself. I really wish that these were already on by default. And when I first downloaded the mod, I thought it would be, because if we do go into the map here, it actually does show 
those different launch pads here on the map, and you can even bring them up in the base manager. Uh, you just can't really do anything with them until you activate them in Kerbal Construct. But it is cool, we've got, you know, the test pad horizontal, test pad vertical, and then launch pads 1 and 2 that can be activated, as well as uh, this other small runway here, if you so desire. Which, I love. Everything about this, I love. I mean, just, it's great. You got a boat launch site, um, just massive runway there. And even some fun little outbuildings. Again, my favorite being that observatory at night. In fact, let's jump over to that one and just fast forward a bit to night to show that off because it's, I just think it's a cool little feature. Now, of course, that's coming from one of the prerequisite mods. I don't know which one the observatory is from, but yeah, let's just uh, accelerate time here until nighttime falls upon us and watch our lovely, lovely observatory open. It's also just at a cool location, just right up here on the hill, right by the water. It's quite nice. All right, let's speed this up a little bit more, and a little bit more. Beautiful, there it is. <laughs> it's the nice little uh, telescope just popping out there for you to uh, enjoy there. It's completely useless, but you know, it's there. And with the stairs, you can actually make it all the way up there. As you can see the stairs along there for you to just take a look around. Very cool. But yeah, that's the Hafco Space Center mod. It's just a cool little set of buildings plopped together in a wonderful new location on the opposite side of the world with plenty of different launch sites and runways for you to use. And even... Oh, wait, wait. No, oh, God, I need to stop it from moving first before I can switch to another vehicle. And even a boat launch, which I launched a rover into because it's all I had at the time. But good times. Good times. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, folks. If you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time uh thank you for watching and as always have a good one